According to a recent Gallup poll, Americans' trust in the U.S. government is at an all-time low in more than two decades. For more, the polls findings on the polls findings, I want to bring in Gallup editor in chief Mohammed Yunus, who joins us now. Mohammed, thank you for joining us. From Thanks your find, you bet. From your findings, why do you think it is that American people are losing faith in the government? Well, it's, this is actually a long-term uh, drop in faith. It's not something that is necessarily very immediate. Um, it's uh, really since 2007 that a majority of Americans have had a great deal of trust or confidence in the government to deal with domestic and international issues facing the country. The other thing to keep in mind is uh, the second poll that we did, the la la last reading, was actually as the government shutdown was winding down. Um, so obviously, uh, a situation where Americans are seeing their government literally shut down because they can't um, address the issues facing the nation. And it could have impacted uh, those numbers a bit. But we are—we did collect record lows um, of Americans having a great deal uh, or a fair amount of trust and confidence in the federal government to deal with domestic issues. Thirty-five percent of Americans express such confidence. When you ask about international issues, today 41 percent of Americans uh, feel that they have that level of confidence. Where do you think we're seeing really the greatest decrease in trust within the government? That's a really great question. Um, most interestingly, in this uh, latest poll, is we actually saw quite a dip among uh, those who describe themselves as Republicans or are Republican leaning. And those are uh, 59 percent today basically say that they have a great deal or fair amount of confidence in the government to deal with domestic issues. That's down 10 percent from September. Um, but where we really saw a big dip is among Republicans on the issue of dealing with international issues, where we saw an 18 point drop from September uh, among Republicans. Republicans uh, in their assessment of how how much co confidence they have in the government to deal with international issues um, than we did in, in December. So that is um, a very interesting um, uh, development, uh, particularly considering the fact that there is a member of their party uh, leading the White House. It's also interesting that there were uh, a few pretty um, serious foreign policy decisions taken by the president since then that have been challenged by members of Congress uh, within his party uh, as recent as this week. That could be a factor. It's something we will definitely continue to monitor. Um, but we definitely saw the biggest drops um, among Republicans themselves. Um, among Democrats, we saw a 14 percent drop in those that had uh, trust and confidence in dealing with international issues. Um, that being said, we tend to see a partisan swing from uh, a administration to administration. So Democrats tend to have uh, more levels of trust and confidence in the government when uh, a person that they put into office of is, is leading the government, the White House, and vice versa. Right. Um, you you we... keep mentioning, Mohammed, uh, about the lack of international of trust in international affairs. Can you point to a specific handling of, of an international incident that, that could have made both Democrats and Republicans feel that way? Well, certainly the decision to uh, withdraw from Afghanistan and Syria uh, certainly caught a lot of people's attention here in Washington and globally. Um, and it's been something that has been discussed uh, very fervently uh, within uh, leadership in the country on both sides. We saw this week uh, alone the Senate took steps forward to pass a resolution that essentially uh, it, uh, challenge that decision to some degree uh, by saying that, in, in essence, ISIS is still a challenge in those countries um, and that the U.S. Uh, true presence should take that into account as it comes down, which is a very different um, approach or tone than what we saw um, announced from the White House and from the president himself. How so common, that, I'm sorry to interrupt, but how common would you say these types of swings that we're seeing in public confidence really is? Um, not very common. Again, uh, this has been a long-term decline. So we, it's not necessarily a huge swing. Uh, it's a record low. But we've been around uh, this area before, if you will. We've been at these lows uh, before. Um, we certainly see uh, upticks uh, when there are situations of national crisis in 9-11. 80-plus uh, percent of Americans had confidence on um, both on domestic and international fronts. So it ebbs and flows. Um, what's more important for us and what we follow, Gallup, really, is the trajectory of where things are going and where things are going next. So this is a metric we'll continue to track um, and certainly continue to uh, follow how independents, in particular, Republicans and Democrats also as well, are assessing uh, the government's ability to deal with these issues. If you're the president of the United States at this point, what's the big takeaway from your polling? 
Uh, interestingly, the big takeaway from our polling right now is that Americans uh, don't have a lot of confidence in leadership generally um, it, uh, for both uh, sides of the aisle. So, for example, if you ask about people's impressions of the leaders that were involved in the government shutdown um, and whether or not people have a more or less favorable view of them because of it, the president actually comes out fairly on par uh, with both uh, Speaker Pelosi uh, and Mitch McConnell, with just a few percentage points in between. So, the crisis in uh, sort of viewing leadership, again, we asked just a month ago, Americans, the biggest problem the country faces. Um, and the number one thing they mentioned is poor government and poor leadership. Um, so, it's not necessarily um, a message to the president. I think it's a message to all leaders in the country uh, that our data clearly show that folks uh, are losing faith in their ability to really address issues effectively. Um, they are uh, experiencing uh, economic realities in their local communities that are not effectively being addressed at the national level. And that's influencing their assessment of how leaders are doing. Mohammed Yunus, grateful you could join us, Mohammed. Thank you. You bet.